Hold this for a second. Okay, now this. This person's coming in, come up. Working, so W. McNulty might be wrong. Let's see if that. All right, before I go on, I'm gonna. Turn this around and go like that. That's this one out. Do you still see two? Yes, I do. And when I talk, wait, they're all blinking. Okay, hello? Yep, it's seeing me. Now you say something. Hello? Yep, they're both blinking when we speak, so it should be better. Ah. So I'm going to just leave these right here, Matt. Don't let me forget. Okay. Somebody will remind you to remind me that I left uh, the dog's training colors there. Anyway, we are, let's try this. It's been one of those mornings, everyone. Wait to hear my story. But uh, we are the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary located in Mays Landing, New Jersey. We are half an hour from Atlantic City, an hour from Philadelphia. If you want to come visit, we are open today. So we're open Tuesdays and Sundays from eight to four. The only thing you have to do is sign a waiver before you come at funnyfarmrescue.org, left-hand side of the page. Um, It'll say visit waiver form, fill that out and hit submit. You only have to do it once and we don't contact you for any other reason. It's only for insurance purposes because the animals walk around loose. And where is the, the waiver? The waiver, I just said, is on the left-hand side of the page of, of bunnyfarmrescue.org. Okay, so on the website. Matt wasn't listening. He's, he's, he's sleepy today. Matt's a little sleepy. And we've had a quite a morning. So Yeah, I, we'll get to that. That's great. We are going to get to that. The bunny thing. I'm going to get to that right now. Okay. Um, so Everybody this, says you can hear you. Okay, hear perfect. You. So this morning, we have a lot going on anyway this morning. Uh, Dean and Matt, you know, the pig guy Dean and Matt, the video, video guy, social media guy, were standing outside near my house speaking and they see, um, what kind of a car? There's a black, uh, black Honda black Pilot. Black Honda Pilot pull up this way past my gate the gate is wide open so show this the gate is wide open and he continues to drive down to here about how far matt you'll have to show me uh probably where that car is parked morning so parks all the way down here stops 
they thought, oh, he must have missed the entrance. Gets out. Oh, I didn't have my carrier. Gets out, has a cat carrier. So Matt and Deed say, they're dumping animals. Because as you know, some of you remember the 21 cat dumping debacle. And this is what he had. I took the animals out of there already because there was no way I was leaving them in. Two, there were two lion head rabbits. This was like about 10 after 8. This was right after 8. We were open. He could have come in and spoken to me. Left it here and ran back to his car. Hey, Greg. And Greg said we should have a security camera. We have our security <laughs> camera right there. We got lots of them and we got the whole thing on video. Right. So and the plate number. Let's cake. So they so, we know so exactly Matt wound up taking out his his video video camera, camera his, his phone and started videoing him and saying where you know it's a felony to jump off cat. It's not really a felony, but you can get in big trouble. It is um, a felony. It, it, it is. They just don't call it that. In New they don't call it a felony anymore, but it's you can get in big trouble for it. You have to go to court. Um, it's way more than than just giving a donation and us taking your your pets. We are full in the de in some of these animal departments, but if you are really in desperate dire need, come in, speak to me. Let's see the animal. Let's see what we can do to help you. We won't just like say, no, nope, sorry, go figure it out. We will try and help you. Um, but come in and speak to me. Don't just dump the animals outside. That's not allowed. So when Matt and Dean asked him, he said, I don't want them anymore. That is not, that is not okay. You are to come in and speak to us. You have to sign out. So we get these two rabbits. Again, know nothing about them. Don't know where they came from. Don't know if they're diseased. Don't know if they're spayed or neutered. Don't know if they have their shots. And it becomes my problem. A private charity. Yeah, no, 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 nothing. Private charity that I work a full-time job outside of the farm to support these animals. We have no more areas for bunnies because everybody is just dumping their rabbits and it's happened more than just here and we are full. So guess where they're going to be living? In my bathtub until we can figure out a spot. Not okay. So there were two boys, I think there are two boys but I'm not 100% sure. I still have to sex them. We've had a lot to do this morning. Um, so and I'm sure they're, they're not, uh, I'm hoping they're two boys and not a boy and a girl. Otherwise they're, they are together. Um, and then we're going to have more lion head babies, but they're beautiful. So if anybody, matter of fact, maybe I can get, um, one of the volunteers to, to grab those. Barbara, I'm so sorry people me. take advantage of your wonderful good nature. Thank, it's like dumping your, thank you, it's Barbara. Really like it's like, oh, you know what? I don't want my kid anymore. Let me just dump it at somebody's property and like, they'll figure it out. It's not the animal's fault that I have crappy parents, you know, that they're like, oh, I don't want them anymore. I also had another phone call from a college student, and I don't mean to be venting today, but I have to just get oh, off my on. chest. People like it. I so like it. I had a college student call me. She's had her kittens for one year. Guess what? They're now a cat. I don't want them anymore because I'm in college and my mom doesn't want to take them. I'm like, well, you're an adult. You took these cats, and now it's, again, the cat's fault that you know, I even said, I'm sorry, but we are full and we can't take them. She said, I said, you might want to call, you know, some of the other agencies. I don't have money to surrender them. Oh, but you have money for college and gas to get back and forth and do everything. But they're not that important to pay a surrender fee. I was fear she wound up hanging up on me because I kind of told her what I thought. So I'm back to people suck today. Except Rose, for you guys. Rosa <laughs> wants to know about the 21 cats. You never heard that story. Oh, the 21 cats. If you Google 21 cats were dumped in May's Landing at Funny Farm, you'll see it. I went off because my neighbor was walking her dog. How did Scooby get out? Or maybe he never got in. Yeah, he probably never got in. So I, I, my neighbor was walking her dog and saw a big dog crate and two smaller crates. About the size, the other two were the size of this. So they're all crammed in a little crate. Two of them, and then one was bigger, 21 of them, no food, no water, no blankets. They were urinating and number twoing all over each other. Fleas, not, not vetted. And, you know, I have to say, at least he didn't go dump them in a river, so I was happy about that. But it was during COVID, right at the beginning of COVID, so I couldn't get vet appointments for my own animals, let alone 21. And I was so angry that I started... You know, when girls get angry, we start to cry. So I started to cry, and then I'm like, Matt, just shut it off, I'm done. And then, and of course, shut it up, he right? didn't shut it off. He kept <laughs> going, of course, because he doesn't listen. And 
but I was, need to know. I very rarely get fuming mad, but when you, you know, you dump your animals like pieces of trash on the side of the road, and yes, right. you know, he picked a good place, but you don't do that because we don't have the manpower. Unless you're coming to volunteer every day, that's why we're open every day for volunteers, because there's a lot of animals to take care of here. We can't do it with our, the manpower that we have, woman power, man, woman Plus power. Plus the 21 cats is thousands of dollars. Thousands and thousands of dollars. And then I went know. on Facebook Live because I was so annoyed and it was early in the morning. That, that he dumped, they dumped like at like five or six o'clock in the morning. I think we decided it was like before. And of course they dumped them further than where my cameras go. I can't put cameras up around 17 acres of my property. Your traffic so, on this road is really high. <laughs> he's he's crown control <laughs> that's the peacock so when you come here we tell everybody go the speed limit or less because there's always animals out there yeah. and we had somebody run over a duck uh yes. last week up here on the road that was lucky ducky but there's no it duck wasn't too. lucky ducky matt lucky ducky got hit over there Oh, that lucky. Yes, you're right. I'm so sorry. Yes, you're right. I'm... Thank you. Can you say that again? I actually said, hi, did good you morning. Say, did you say Matt was no, right? No, I don't know what you're Could talking you about. Did you say Matt was right again? But yeah, so Duck, Lucky Ducky got hit and is still doing really well. Yeah, she's really You can see great. we're open today. You guys can come in. But nobody's here to speak to them at the gate. Look at it. Yep. Um, okay, so we talked about the 21 cats being dumped a while ago. We wound up getting, people wound up bringing food and donations to help out because I was beside myself um, because none of the vets were open. None of the SPCA, the regional animal shelters, uh, main societies were closed. Janet says, Lori, in my opinion, you are being extremely civil because my New Jersey girl would definitely be coming out right now. God bless you. <laughs> so my New Jersey girl came out off camera because I know kids are watching. <laughs> Dick Carr, we need to see your every emotion. It shows how much you love these animals because we love you. <sighs> yeah, today it's anger. I, you know, with the 21 cats, I was so angry because there was 21. That was huge. And two bunnies is still a lot. I still have to date a minimum, a minimum fee for them, for me as a rescue is $85, and that's a discount. And you can usually and that's not, not usually even get that. Fixed. That $85 is getting them fixed, but then they have to get meds. It's everything on top of that, so it's it's not an inexpensive fee. And if the guy said, "Hey, I don't have the money," he was driving a nice enough car, and guess what? Because Matt and Dean caught the license plate, we did call the police. Yep. The police came out. The guy went up calling me, no caller ID when he called, of course and said because he knew that we were calling the police because we had all his information and he has a record of doing things like this they know exactly who he is so he has until four o'clock today to come and fill out a surrender form i am right i make it right i'm gonna give him a chance to make it right and then i will be pressing charges against him and it will be a lot a lot more in, and he's going to give me a surrender fee because now he's getting charged one where normally if if they're having an issue i would just be like we'll help you out well, plus, besides the fact that he's going to have to pay a fee and a fine, if he doesn't come and make it right, you're probably going to punch him in the face. Oh, well, <laughs> believe me, I, 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 I know that, that. He, yeah. Not so, even me. <laughs> so I get that things happen. He said, there are, you know, I, I, don't want, I don't want them anymore. You come and speak to a person. You don't just dump stuff. It's illegal to dump stuff outside of SPCA, Humane Studies, any rescues. It's illegal. You can't just dump well, an animal. They're not open in this. Like we that. were open. He could drive right in. There was already 20 volunteers here. You know, I just, I was irritated. So uh, I just saw a comment, but I didn't, I can't go back that far. But it was about a lady who said someone dumped off bunnies at her rescue in a bucket and didn't have any holes in it for even air. So nice. if you do that and nobody's there, it can die. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank God you guys are sitting out here. I don't know when we would have checked them. It's going to yeah. get warm today. Yeah, 86. It's only 72 degrees, but they had no food, no water, no nothing, no pee pee pads. They were just, in, again, in their own urine and poop. I, I'm just... Um, I think we should elect you to office of, um, like, judge or I need mayor. to be. I need to be the judge of yes. people that are doing cruelty to animals. Oh, and, yeah. They would be in jail forever. Yeah. No, not jail. They would have to turn them over to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you do the same thing to them that they did. So I just can't believe the, you know, and, and I get the girl in college is trying to find a home, but 
you find a home and then the SPCA or somebody's charging you a fee <laughs> to surrender them. So we don't want them anymore. And then like, let you do all the work for me being a stupid parent. And I'm sorry, stupid, irresponsible, again, <laughs> not caring about these animals, dumping them like trash. Well, I don't have that. I said, really? I bet you have money for college and gas and partying. And then she hung up on me. So yeah, I just, I'm on, a, I'm on my soapbox today. Here's a, I'm sorry. Here's a great comment though. It what? says, um, it's just from Gina. She said that even though she has a broken bone, she's still available for face punching right now if you need her. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. <laughs> she's one of my Jersey girls for sure. Barbara Long so, said she'll vote for you. Barbara Long has that military background, so she could kick some butt herself. She could. All by herself. So she's like anyway, a seal. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to be negative. You know, we try and be positive at the funny farm because <laughs> there's enough negativity, but I have to sometimes go off, and Doesn't today's one of those. Dean can hold them down for while you do the punching. Oh, oh sorry. Was... <laughs> Did I spit on myself? Sorry. Yeah, yeah they spit on the camera. <laughs> nice. No, I'm starting. Um, anyway, so thank God for Dean and Matt being out there. You know, they were like... Yeah. And the camera. And the we camera, We did get the yeah. whole thing on video. Yes, we did get the whole thing on video on my regular camera, and then Matt also got it We'll post on... pictures of the bunnies, too, but we're going to show the bunnies. Right. So Wait the guy second. has until 4 o'clock today. He said he'll be back at 3.30. Let's, should we take a vote and see who, if he yeah, shows up or not? Why so we thing? don't have cones out. We need, definitely yeah. need some cones. Yeah. So, I don't, oops, I'm tripping over myself. Let's go but in. Let's just make sure he's not done with something. He, there's three of them, so okay. I think we're good. Okay. Now so, every car that comes down the road, what are you doing? Um, well, we we need to go tell a volunteer that Matt needs. I mean, Lord, Matt. We've had, everybody wants to talk about your outfit. Oh, come in, Matt. Okay, go in the sun so they can see it. Let's go by Brookie. This is my kick butt outfit today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like yeah. Okay, so let's Brookie. Brookie, you're being such a good girl. You're the only pup. Uh, her and. I don't know how Scooby's out, but She's her and Scooby are out. Farm. Oh, you know what? Uh, maybe. Wait, you're being a good girl? Okay, you can be out. And then Let's, Scooby's being a good boy. Can we please talk about your fabulous outfit? What do you mean? What do you want me to say? That's what they want oh, to know. Oh, so let me tell you. This is from Lisa Ray from <laughs> high school. Now Lisa Polly, also the one who made me the kitten cottage sign. And then I had her change it because she made the cottage so like it's supposed to be spelled. And I'm like, we were going to do a K. And she comes back and makes it a K after I said that I felt guilty. But she used to do line country dancing. And she goes, I'll never wear this again. So she donated it to the funny farm. So this is her fancy, fabulous vest. That's nice. And I figured, it went, you know, winter is coming. It's September 12th here. Um, and nice, it's going to get colder. So... It's actually my ex-husband's birthday. Happy birthday, Frank Johnson. Today? <laughs> Oops. Like and George nice. Dubois, one of our volunteers that used to be here all the time. It's both their birthdays today. And Matt Miles was our, his birthday yesterday. He was actually born on 9-11. That's not me, by the way. Not Matt, no, Matt Miles, our volunteer. Yeah. And he um, was born, well, we know it's not you because it was when the towers came down. Very sad yeah, day, that's... but... Happy oh, yeah. day for Miss Kim Miles when she had her baby. So that, right. that's got to be so a tough day. Good morning. How are you? Have you guys been here before? No. Oh, well, welcome. I'm Lori, the owner. Nice to meet you guys. You're on live video, Facebook video. Lori, why don't you put her up on the seat? Does she want, does she want to get up on the tractor? You can put her right up there. And then Brookie's very friendly if she wants to pet Brookie. Just watch out for the geese when you're walking around. Some of them think that she is a goose, so just pick her up if you see that them coming towards her. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see. So this is one of our farm all tractors. Laura, you're taller. You might Let me put her up. Hey, come here, girlfriend. So let's jump up there. Get up in there. I'm great with kids. <laughs> I'm great with kids. I, I, yeah, I'm really not great with kids. On his head. Hold on there, girlfriend. Okay, now drive. Yes, hey, Lori, she was married for eight years. Lori, uh -huh. she wants to know, they want to know about you being married for eight years. That I was married what? For eight years. It wasn't eight years, but yeah, I was married. Some people say, years, somebody right? married you. I'm like, yeah, can you believe it? He's really nice. He was like really him. nice. We called him Frank Johnson, the mayor. He was very nice. Yeah, he came here and visited. He, yeah, he does. He just came here. We're, we're still friends, so I will be calling him later today. So. Frank was a Navy guy, is that right? Air Force, Matt. Air Force. Air well, Force Sue Matt. Aunt Sue said that. Aunt Sue, he's Air Force, but yes. That's cute. That Lovely human being, or I wouldn't have married him, so. Yeah. Hi! 
Here, you want me to help you, honey? Yeah, she might be better at maneuvering us. All right, girlfriend, ready? She's, like, she's gonna leave your kid up here. Home, ready? Ready? Ready to go? Woo! She's great with kids. She just forgets. There that. you go. All right. Whoa. Have fun. She lost her balance. Right? Bye, guys. <laughs> See ya. She's just like her with you with puppy. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, woohoo! Spin puppy around. And he stands up and falls over. Could you imagine if I had kids? What would they do? They'd be deranged. Well, if you had kids, they would all be like. Scooby, how are you well, the only one? They'd probably be like Navy SEALs. They'd they would be, be like Navy SEALs, is right. Yeah. I'm a little feisty today. And I gave up coffee and I had a little coffee today because I needed it. So, um, so. You need it every day. So, I need to find Dean. Oh, Marina said it's private. Your, your marriage is private. Why bring it up? <laughs> well, you brought it up. Because is there anything private? There's nothing at private. At all Not in with my life? No. Not pretty much an open book. But the important but thing I was is, laugh. is you guys are friends. So. We're very good friends. And he's yes. a good guy. Yes, he's a great guy. He lives um, in Arizona. He lives in Arizona. And he just didn't like to commute. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> you show, show, show that I'm going to go show this lady. She's freaking out because of the dog. So the animals are loose here. I want to point that out. Somebody called me and said, you have more animals than the Cape May Zoo. But they come right up to you and want to... We heard you yelling. You okay? Oh, no, we're fine. I got nudged by both of them. <laughs> uh, they're not nipping. They're, they're giving you kisses so you give them some food. So you show them how you feed. She keeps a flat, open hand and then can feed carrots. That's Jethro, the Kardashian butt implants. You can see his big butt. Matt, show his big butt. And Tico. Or, yeah, that's Tico, not to be confused with JJ. But you can see the big, big, big butt. Everybody likes a butt rub in the morning. Even the little, even little butts like to have butt rubs. Wait a minute, look who's over here. And then Cowboy! Hey, ah! Cowboy! Cowboy's run, run, Cowboy got chased away by This way. Oh, this is Dave. This is Dave. Yeah, show Dave. Dave and Buddy. Hey, Dave. Oh, Dave. Good morning. He's giving butt rubs too. See? Apparently. Everybody like it's it's a common goal, a common theme here. Butt rubs in the morning. <laughs> it looks Buddies. like he's got you trained. Yes. He, he, yes. He's doing really good. He is doing good. So he's Buddy had broken his femur when he jumped up to bark at the television when there were another there was another dog on TV and broke his femur in two places. It was months and months of recovery. So he uh, lives in with seven, well, 600 animals. 600 and animals and 10 other dogs. But when he sees a dog on television, freaks out like you would think he was <laughs> going to be Cujo. So it makes no sense. He acts all tough. But look at his eyes. They're like half blue and half brown. Yeah. He has met buddy. Look at him. Look, he's like, yeah, I'm not looking at you. And then where's the emu? He's at the beauty. Where's Con you. Here's Connor. He's got, you can see. He's got you trained. You can see all the, the peacocks eating. There's a bunch of peacocks and ducks. You can see they're right here. Hey, you two, no fighting. The goose and the peacock got into it a little. No, the goose, they're stopped. The they're, <laughs> and then this is a female peacock and a male peacock. You so can the say white. the females are white or gray, and I say only in humans are the females more attractive than the males. Well, that's not true. That but is maybe true. what we should do is what? go see the. Um, Go see, let's say hi to these guys. We'll go see the two bunnies. Okay. The, yes, you guys because they before? did find. Hi. I actually live right around the corner. You too? Really? <laughs> oh, you're from Hamilton. It's your first time? Hamilton. You're on our live video. Hope, hope you're not wanted by the police or, you know, okay, you're good. All right, good night, yet. You guys, they didn't dump any of them. How did, how did you find out about us? Because well, okay, you're around the corner and you guys too from him. Okay. Are you related? <laughs> yeah, we're related. I, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> if I could just picture you in long hair, we'd be set. Which one was a favorite from the mom and dad? <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> oh, you can ask her. Oh, mom's here? Okay. Where? Uh, that's my mom right This now. is your mom? Yeah. They just said you could ask my mom. She's right there. And I go, where? We have to old enough to be their mom. Oh. Look at her. I love you so Look at her. <laughs> So Jason, we, which Matt, one's your favorite? Matt, Matt said, which one is the favorite? <laughs> my son? Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have a favorite son? He's asking. That's rude, isn't it? It's not rude. I'm the favorite. She loves them both, Matt. The, uh, we have four brothers, and I'm the favorite. Everybody knows. <laughs> then again. <laughs> yeah. But that's coming from Matt's perspective, of course. And now, grandson. That's the favorite grandson, and what's your right? Name? <laughs> Melissa and. Justin. Eric. <laughs> Melissa, Justin, and Eric, and. Oscar. Oscar cool. We have a pig.
pig and a goat named after you. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, you must have talked. Uh, thank you. What was your name? I missed it. Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. All right. Congrats. She's going to retire this year and is looking for a rescue to come work. So we are speaking of, we are open every single day for volunteers. You can come at any time. The only thing you have to do is sign that same waiver that you do to visit. So Lori, hold on. Thank you so much. Have fun. Lori wants to see the sheep, of course. But they. Oh, yes. everyone's upset you lost the collars of the front gate. Uh, we're good. The dogs are in, so we're so, okay. We don't need them right now. We'll, we'll get, get them, them later. Look at Buddy over there. Oh, Buddy's like, he's I'm like, looking so cute. Come over this bit. way, though, Matt. Look at all the... So we have the, the turkey, baby the baby emu. Connor is doing so great. So the old owner of Connor... He'll eat out of your hand. ...came and... Yep. Do we have any mealworms over there right now? Look, now watch this way. I'll do that now. Thank you, Kim. I need to tell... Can you write to Dean and say... Any cones out front. He's right behind you, Lori. He's like, okay, now watch. Wait, worms? come over here, buddy. Come here. Connor! <laughs> Connor! I'm your mom. What are you doing? He's like, he's like I'm in trouble. He come here. Him. Come on. Connor. He, I think he's afraid of my big boots. Connor, look! It's probably your hat. Connor! There you go. Come on. <laughs> you can tell he's a man. He's not real bright. <laughs> here you go. Come here. Scooby, ah, come here. Scoob! I don't need help. There he goes. Now, Connor, here. Here, Connor. He, he I takes think, it from me. I he likes me better. He does not like you better. He does too. He always takes it from me. Connor, uh, come here. Christina said that he's Scooby, really beat it. Lead. He is really tall. Come here, Connor. All right, here he comes. Come up, Matt. Oh. All right, here you can have some. Well, if he sees you feeding everybody else, he'll be right over. I know, but I don't have that many. Here you go. You have more. Do I, here, let me get you some more. Give me the bag. Thank you. I'm just gonna walk over with the bag. Thanks, Tim. You gotta shake the bag. Yeah, I'll, I'll go this way. They like the bag shake. Uh oh, here's Nemo hiding out. Oh, we got a bottle for Nemo. Oh, yeah. Do you want to get Scooby. it? Scooby! Um, it's on the front gate. It's on the it's on the red chair. All right, here he comes. We have a bottle for Nemo. Here you go, baby. I'll go get here it. he goes. Look. Okay. So this is excuse you. Nemo's like that. I like mealworms. They're like potato chips. Look how tall he is now. So you can see he is three months old. When the owner came, I said he was three months. He goes, no, he's not even three months. And he loves blueberries. Hey, go, Bubby. Come on. Go. You're scaring him, Nemo. He's like... So if you have, you can... He'll eat other things other than mealworms out of your hand, too. He sometimes hits a little hard. He does have a big beak, so the little kids sometimes get afraid, but... <laughs> but you can see how nice, how the animals, for the most part, some people ask, hey, he's got his head in the bag. Look, look, what? <laughs> oh, no. Nemo, what did you do? <laughs> it's called an automatic self-feeder. <laughs> <laughs> automatic self-acme? <laughs> Acme. <laughs> so you get Scooby. He's like, what's Scooby's going like, on, dude? Can I have one of those automatic self-feeders? <laughs> Uh-oh. I think uh, we can't get... You can, so I don't can, think mealworms are going to hurt him, but... No, they're not. Mia... Tim's bringing him a bottle. I made a bottle for him. Okay. Let's she see if he eats it. Yeah. Okay. He usually eats about four bottles. Well, time. now he's full with mealworms. Hey. The other day he had his head in a bag of mealworms that were... Kind of like, where's mine? I want some more. And this is Cherry, the baby turkey that was raised in my house. Yep. We showed that one before. Yeah, and isn't she, she so cute? Ow! She summer. takes... Hey, chicken! She's like, beat it, they're mine. She's she's an aggressive little girl. Whenever there's a thunderstorm. Yeah, you want some look? Coming in. You wouldn't realize how much you love birds until you have them eat out of your hand. Okay. Or yeah. Come here, baby. Thank you, Kim. So here's Miss <laughs> Matt always says he's 15 years old and still taking a bottle. He loves bottles. And you can see, wait, who broke this? One of the dogs grabbed yeah, it. Yeah, so we taped it. So we taped it. It's my only bottle. I'm going to get another one. We but, need another one. So he's drinking a little bit of milk and a little bit. It's actually not milk. It's, you know, um, Nemo goat formula, but mixed with water. But he really likes his liquid. Matt, you're not even showing him. You can, they can hear you, Lori. They can hear, you can hear how loud. You guys want some more? This is Matt couldn't do this because it's um, doing two things at once. Stop it! 
There's her. <laughs> Rolanda says she loves your laugh and you are so beautiful. Hey, you're so sweet. Thank you. Somebody said to me the other day, you're much skinnier in person. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> so I said, well, you know, the camera adds like like 20 pounds and 10 pounds, they say. Well, plus like, you're a lot taller than people expect. And then people said, you're like, you're really tall. You want more? All right. You want, he wants, he wants, ow, easy. Look, now they're oh, both turkeys. Excuse you, Brooke. You don't need to help. Um, so I found out that they relocated the bunnies out of my bathtub into a hutch. Yeah. And then we uh. put another bunny in a temporary hutch. It's more of a chicken chicken hutch, but it'll do for now until we figure something out. So if any, hey, you guys, no fighting. If you have, if anybody has an extra bunny hutch, but it needs to be big. It can't be like a little, it's got to be a Someone big Someone did hutch. say that. On if somebody camp. has an yeah. extra hutch, we would, who's biting my, Lisa, Lisa Pauly, they're biting my, they like the my donated. Jerry is biting your butt. It's Thank you. Fringe. They like the fringe. Thank you. This is a Rhode Island, I mean a Rhode Island bread. This is a Bard Rock chicken. Yeah, this is a Rhode Island bread. very, very friendly. It's only black and white, but it's... She doesn't wait, lay black and white eggs, Matt. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. She lays... They actually, she'll actually lay a brown egg. Or a light tan egg. Okay. Uh-oh. You're too close. <laughs> I can't see you. That's better. Up close and personal. All right, turn around. There we have, wait, I have to give my normal kiss. Let me get my morning kiss. Come here, big boy. Give me my normal kiss. <laughs> I was gonna say, Lori, we're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Let's you your see. kiss right here. Lori, thank you for playing with the gr my granddaughter yesterday on the swing. Ah, oh, that Kim. was nice. Kim, yeah. I loved her. She was so sweet. Ah! We do. Um, I so have some. Scooby. Wait, let me go back to the lady with the swing. If you're, if you want photos, text me. 609-742-9410. You can text me and I'll send those photos to you. Okay, because yeah, I got a couple really ones. cute ones yesterday of her. Uh, Deborah Martin, Matt, we will pray for you today because Lori is being extra rough on you. <laughs> I think I'm you are. Her. I think you are. You know, Thank you for that sympathy because I don't ever get it. He needs some prayers for all the things that he does. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look at the chicken. We, got, we, we did get some produce. So we're, all right, so a couple things. So October 10th is our fall festival. We are waiting for our permits to be approved, but it will be October 10th if everything goes as planned. We'll have food vendors and regular vendors all in the backfield in front of the big red barn. We will have face painting, pumpkin painting, hay rides. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. We Petting donkeys. We have all right, um, Matt. They're painting. Okay, I'm st I'm in the middle of telling something that was really important. Matt's like squirrel, 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 squirrel. <laughs> So, I mean, you can show an animal, but let's talk about the fall festival. Finish real quick. All right, hold on. You got a second? Okay, but let me just... So, you can away. park next door at our... Um, we rent the ball field from the city, or you can park at St. Augustine Prep, which is one mile away, and we will have buses running all day, back and forth, so you don't have to worry about parking. Just park in their parking lot, and then you'll be getting bused here, dropped off right out front, and you walk right in. Um, we, it is free to get in. If you can leave a donation, that's great because it is a fundraiser. The ah, 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 Brooke, what are you doing? She was Brooke. trying to get the chicken off the table. He's like, and she Kim can't be on the table. Can repeat your phone number? Kim, 609-742-9410. So you can just text me and I will. Alan Helbig. I live for Lori's life. Alan, that's my friend from college and he just donated this really cool cat. Um, house for them. So thank you, Alan. So speaking of donations, thank wait, you. Wait, wait. Sandy said, do you still need donation baskets for the We do festival? need donation baskets. The sooner the better that... Oh, really? Do you want to talk? <laughs> do you want to talk? Is, is that kid's name Lori? Yeah. Look, are you going to talk? Oh, <laughs> are, you, are you showing me things? What are you showing me? <laughs> she said... <laughs> Is that a, that's a duck, right? That's a ducky. Yeah. Ducky, ducky you know, right? It seems like we went back in time about 40 years ago. <laughs> I like your turtle shirt. Thank you. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Is this, you've been here before? Yeah, I was like, I recognize you. But I don't recognize her. Did she get bigger? That's what it is. She was like she a baby bigger. last time yeah. she came. 
Wow. She's a hand that's, that's our that's our Funny Farm Rescue future volunteers right here. <laughs> right here. Yep, it is. Okay. So if you have a basket that you want to donate, we would so greatly appreciate it. If we can get them as soon as possible, because we have to make labels and get them all set up and give them a number and all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to have a basket raffle. So you put, you know, and we have really cool things. We have Yeti coolers, Yeti tumblers. I actually donated them with my points from buying stuff for the animals. And I got that on video. That was awesome. What happened? The, I missed the it. The kid is like almost fell over and then he like grabbed the air and came right back up. Oh, okay. It was great. So, um, yeah, so the sooner the better. We have lots of people saying that they would donate uh, baskets. So that's fabulous because that, again, is another money maker for the farm. 100% of that money will go to the feed and care of the animals. And as you know, we have a lot to feed here. Second thing I want to talk about is Lila. Lila. Layla? Lila. Layla. The yeah. dog that we had, we had her on live video last Tuesday, was it, Matt? Yeah, it was Tuesday. Last, Yeah, Tuesday. So they can look, scroll back. Okay, and then we also have a post that we're going to repost today. Laura and Mike, my friends, are volunteers for the farm, and we'll bring Lila to your house. See if we get... She doesn't really want other dogs. She wants um, a single home, you know, no other animals, if that would be best. I think I'm not sure about cats, but I think you know they want her to Lord, be by he wants herself. You to scratch his butt. I know. I told you, butt rub. How's that feel, big boy? <laughs> <laughs> his eyes are closing. He's like, He's yeah. Like buddy in a goat form. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, a donkey. Form. Donkey, man. This is a donkey. I know. I know. Speaking of goats, that we thought they were goats and they turned out to be sheep. Let's we go, gotta see, go them. see them. Everybody wants to see. Oh no! Uh oh no! Crying. Oh. Okay, let's go. Lori, what'd you do? All right, kids are crying. We need to go. <laughs> There's Cowboy. Hi, Cowboy. <laughs> I was just going to tell them, be careful not to... All right, hey, the gig. fans are on, so either we turn them off... Gig. Let's turn them off for a minute. Good morning. Can you ask Dean to put the cones out for me? Cones out. There's people parked out there now. Thank you. Can we turn that fan off for a second so you can talk? Is it really loud? Right here. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That orange plug. Good morning. Good. How are you? Okay. Oh my goodness. You All love right. rolling. That's better. Okay. So you can see we have this gate up here. Oh, so Brittany people... wants to know if that dog, uh, Lila, is available for adoption. Layla is Ly Layla is available for adoption, and she's a sweetheart. We had her on live. She played fetch. She was out in like Pig Alley there, and she was a doll baby. I just met her for the first time, and she was super duper sweet. Am I on still? Okay, I see it now. The, my little yeah, but you blocked me out. So how am I going to video the sheep? Well, come in. <laughs> you like pulled me out. So oh, thank you, Alan. Now you got me. I'm like la laughing, and I'm realizing I'm snorting. So these are the sheep that were rescued from Southwest Philly. Look at almost no ribs anymore. Yep, she has been nonstop eating. Show the baby right now, Matt. There's He's Chanel eating now. And there's Chanel Tyrone. and Tyrone. So we've been calling them Ch Chanel and Ty, baby Ty. And he's eating like a pig. He's eating like a pig. We were we had my friends Wendy, Beverly, and Janine donated some. Their two separate families donated some replacement milk for the baby because the mom was starving to death. They escaped from a slaughter situation and an illegal slaughter situation. Horrible. From what we know, and we're working on. So in one week, she's a hundred percent different. Yep, she hardly any rib show, and she was. If you saw back last weekend, um, we didn't do our live video because well, we did do our live video, but it was on the road going to go rescue them. And Chanel and Tyrone are the two people, and there's another guy, John, and a bunch of other neighbors that helped out to try and catch them. And take it upon themselves to get them to try and get them some food they were so upset that they never ate or drank anything and she was afraid that if they if chanel was afraid that if they waited until tuesday because it was a holiday on monday that they would not they wouldn't survive the weekend without food and water because they weren't wouldn't take anything they were just beside themselves so she contacted Randy's Wildlife Trapping Service, and obviously that was more than what he does. And Randy was like an angel. Randy was an angel and called me, 
and we decided just to take matters into our own hands and go get them. So the vet did look at them, give them all their shots. They are in quarantine for 30 days. So um, myself and one other volunteer are the only ones that can handle them. And then, you know, we have to wash up right away. So you can't get close, but um, less than 30 days now, you'll be able to pet them. And we're gonna probably let them loose to go see Reggie. We have one other sheep, Reggie, that was going to be a sacrificial lamb in Haddon Heights uh, or Haddon Field a couple years back and a family actually purchased them back from the place that was going to slaughter them, the, the family, and said, can the funny farm take it? And then made a donation on top of it for me to take Reggie. And Tyrone. They still visit. Look today. at him looking back. Tyrone is looking a lot better as well. He's cute. So the mom could not produce any milk because she was taking all of her energy to try and save her baby. And I don't know if you guys saw it, but when I was with her, she would go, you know, I was like, it's okay. When she thought I was trying to cut the rope off of her neck that she gnawed through to get released. And when I went to cut that off, she went like she was going to buck me because she was feisty because she's like, you're not going to hurt me and my baby. And she was very protective of Tyrone. So, well, remember when you brought him in here, they, she couldn't even stand up. She, yeah, she was. She fell down. Yeah, she, yeah, right. So we tried to put her in and her back legs just gave way. Yeah, but look at there. Look because, at there yeah, but now they're doing fabulous. And uh, like I said, they're in quarantine. But by the fall festival, when you come, they will be out of quarantine. So you will be able to see them if you guys are coming to that. We're going to have the fall festival from 9 to 4. Um, Lori, we summer. love your snorting. You keep it real. No <laughs> fake for you. That's why I love watching y'all. Oh, thank you. I, I don't think, and like, like somebody said, like. Straight up real. Oh, I love Matt. That was they did not say that. She did too. <laughs> Want to read it? <laughs> no. <laughs> why wouldn't she say that, Lori? Oh, I'm not. Look at Brookie. <laughs> Only kidding, Matt. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for lying. But I'm not, I'm not okay, but All, all right. right, let's go see Bunny. So. Bye, Chanel. Bye, Tyrone. You can see now. I'll show them one more time. Even the baby's eating hay now, so we're so excited. But thank you to um, Beverly, Wendy, and Janine for donating the milk replacer because that gave the baby a kickstart and, and gave the mom some time to get some more food in her and not have, you know, for the baby to suck that all out of her. So um, Why 30 days? Just curious. 30 days is the rule that you're supposed to do to make sure that they're quarantined. They, uh, I mean, to make sure that they don't have any kind of diseases. You know, we don't want anything going to our other animals, so. Debbie Carr, will the mom grow her hair back? Eventually, I'm hoping. But she, so she, um, my vet, Dr. <laughs> Byron, Diane, told me she was a, Diane. Look, correct you me if see I'm this coming. Sam, can he nurse? Can he nurse? Well, usually. That's what that he's, means. Now, these, It's a woman. Of course, there, she can nurse. No, no, no. But he's asking, boy, can he, he's asking, can he nurse, meaning the baby, on the mom, oh. because she wasn't getting any food, Matt. I thought he was asking if it was a boy and the Matt, dad. Matt, <laughs> he's a little slow, I said. You know, he's sleepy today. <laughs> so he's asked, Sam was it was asking, so yeah, can he yeah, nurse, meaning yeah. the, the mom has <laughs> now more. <laughs> yes, he can, but it might not work. But <laughs> <So> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have milk replacement. <laughs> so this is he not was working. asking because he, she needed to get her energy back up and all the nutrition so she could give it to her baby. Oh, look. Look at this comment. Quick. Debbie Martin. Debbie Martin. <laughs> she doesn't want to she repeat that. She said, I that. love Matt. She doesn't want to repeat that. I love Matt, she said. That's, That's cute. And here's Mr. Reset, Coconut. We have Coconut in Malibu. <laughs> These are Nubian donkeys. A lot of, I mean, donkeys, <laughs> goats. I was, I'm tired too. Goats. They have floppy ears like a dog. When people see them, they're like, what kind of dog is that? So Malibu and Coconut are twins. They're twins and they have problems with their front feet. So Annalise, one of my volunteers, has it on her phone and says, Lori, like every couple weeks we have to trim their hooves. And it is quite the job and they hate it. So what it do? takes. What are you doing? Four um, volunteers to usually help me with that. And you then here's the other Reggie. one. You can see him. Here's here's Malibu. Do you see Reggie? Matt, oh, he's right here. Show Malibu first. Right, so, so this, this is, is the, the twin. twin, and you can see he's on his front feet. People think that he can't walk, but he he kneels down a lot because show the kneeling. Back it up. Thank you. He's kneeling because his he front feet. 
he has always had issues with them. So a lot of times they take their, you know, they can walk. People are like, oh, they can walk. I'm like, yeah. They just choose sometimes to get onto their elbows. And, and that's Jody, why they have these big calluses. We visited your last Sunday. We love the animals and all that you do, Lori. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you for visiting. So this is what a sheep's supposed to look like. There's a sheep. Look how fat he is. That that's is Reggie. Reggie. Reggie is... Um, and Hollywood. I don't, he's not... I have to ask Diane Byer. She, uh, that's Dr. Byer's wife. She told me, so this this guy does not need to be sheared. He has very short hair, so he's not a shearing type of goat, which makes me happy because it's one less thing we have to shear. And uh, he is a sweetheart, but he's the one who was running loose, and he was scared to death. You couldn't even get near him when we first got him. Now he realizes And Hollywood's a mama's him. boy, just like Nemo. Yes, Hollywood was, was my baby, right, big boy? Oh, he's got a little... What pretty and why boy. is his name Hollywood? His name is Hollywood because we had a video crew here one day doing a news report. And every time they were going to go video somebody, here's Hollywood. Brooke, go out. Out, Brooke. There's, there's Hollywood like, look at me, look at me. So we <laughs> named him Hollywood because he was always trying to get on camera. And he was the cutest little baby. And look at his, he looks like a Dalmatian dog. That was an animal, animal planet. Animal show, planet. Yeah. We had. That was filmed yeah, here. Yeah, kept trying to get Hollywood's on. a cutie. So this is so we're going to be so excited when Reggie gets to meet Chanel. We're hoping there's going to be a love. Yeah, connection. he doesn't even know she's down there yet. No, well, not yet. And they're about the same age, right? Uh, Chanel, the the vet, Doctor Byer said is elderly, like so she's eight or nine, and then with a baby, that's that's old for a sheep to have a baby. Debbie Martin, there, Lori. Every time I'm trying to drink my coffee, I start laughing because you're <laughs> making me laugh. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you. Susan I, Evans. I don't always get to watch your live videos live, but I watch them each week. Absolutely love it. Aww. Can't wait to come back and visit. Love that, you that's so and awesome. do. Yeah, we hope we try and bring some levity. I'm sorry I was a little stressed this morning because of the bunny dumping situation. But like okay. I said, we're... You're, that's, I think people need to realize how it's a real life here. It's not always like... Yeah. You know, so happy. last week we had gone to pick up the abandoned or the the goats that broke out of slaughter situation that were clearly starving to death and uh got them here and got the vet here and figured all that out and 30 days quarantine and then we'll be able to let them meet reggie so they'll we'll have a family of goats and the baby so crystal how do we volunteer for the fall festival so if you want to volunteer for the fall festival that's a great point i should have brought that up earlier um, we do need volunteers for the fall festival. Um, you can send me an email, um, Lori at, so it's Lori, L-A-U-R-I-E at funnyfarmrescue.org, the same, same email that's on our website, and say interested in volunteering for the fall festival if anybody wants to help out with that. There's a lot to do. We need face painters. So if anybody has any experience at all, I have a sheet that we do and they're not complicated. You don't have to be an artist to do it we have um paints that are fa face safe kids safe um you know i'm gonna have my face painters wearing gloves and masks so because they'll be in close proximity so we'll have um that going on and we usually do like two hour shifts so we need that all day there's usually a line at face painting i when is the fall festival october 10th 2022 so this october on uh, sunday the 20th uh october 10th Everybody's watching you, Lori. And then, hey, pretty girl. That's Shirley and Laverne. Laverne and Shirley in here. Let me show Laverne and Shirley. Here's Laverne and Shirley. Okay. All right. Okay. Here's Laverne and Shirley. You can see when I used to watch Lori, television. Lori, everyone sick. Don't bang uh, the camera. Shush it, Matt. That's going to unbalance. You're not right. allowed to touch this shush. camera. Shush. So, um, Gig just said that the lady, who, the people who brought the four goats are out, out there right now. Okay. Look, look. Can't do it now, Lori. Matt, calm down, Matt. No, look, you broke it. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. All right, oh, come on. Good. You and Electronic do not mix. That is not true. Yeah. And you can see our little, this is where they eat their hay. Um, Dean, one of the volunteers, put these up. It was, we used to have these bags for hay. And then one time we got one of them, and we, we were afraid they were going to hang themselves, so we he, we put up these hard um, yeah, hay racks. Yeah, nets are really unsafe. Yeah, those nets, I don't like them. Very, she's very friendly. She said she'll give you an hour to stop petting her. 
<laughs> Good. How are you guys? Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Have you been here? We have been here. This is Little Man's first time. Oh, very good. We'll have fun. And you know to be careful with the geese. Maybe pick them up if I they did. come after yes, them. Okay. We did that, Great. Get goose bites at home, so you get goose, oh, so you yeah. know geese. Okay, good. We want to see the bunnies. All right, we're going to see the bunnies. Okay. Good morning. Good. How are you? There's Laverne. And you can see the donkeys are anywhere where there is food. You have to show her she doesn't believe you. Or he. Look, he's like, darn it. Then you can just pet my butt then. Um, the bunny. Actually, I don't know where they put the bunny. Right there. I know. I put them there with them. You did? Okay, come yeah. around. Okay. Well, then why didn't you tell me they were out of my bathtub, Matt? I, why, why didn't I what, tell you what? Uh, uh, uh. I didn't see it. Oh, we got to show Joe Petruzzi after this. Yeah. The house that Joe Petruzzi built? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So here's Emily, the big emu, and you can see Karen's actually building another enclosure for one of our other. Um, She's doing a good job. Isn't she doing a good She's job? Yeah. The whole house. So there's Emily. That's how big they get. So she is as tall as me when she stands up straight and puts her head up. So she's almost six foot. She's huge. But she hasn't but, had the same people interaction as. No, her. she has not. Well, she was born. They hatched her out for a science project, her and her brother. But, yeah, they were outside in a pen, so they, they don't have the same interaction. Um, okay. When the o old owner came to visit Connor, he said he's never seen an emu like that before. So these so are the two bunnies, are the, the bunnies that were dumped see. off here today. Yep. Let me like see. Oh, my God. Look at that. I actually didn't get a good look at them because they were in their pen. But look at how cute. Lion heads now, they're not super small. They're not they're not huge. Let me see if see if I can look. Does somebody socialize them? Let me grab them. Grab one at least. Come here, baby. Oh, the nails are long. So look at this one first, Matt. Wait, wait. He's looking out the door. What you doing, puppy? Are you looking for where you? I hope there's a brother. I don't oh, I have yeah, to look. Nails and I know the nails you can see. So bunnies aren't super easy to take care of. They they need some care. Like all pets do, but these have to be groomed because they have longer hair and the lion heads, they can get matted. They have to have their nails trimmed. Again, not the easiest thing. You can take them to a vet <laughs> or a groomer. What are you laughing at, Matt? Debbie Carr said, hot Joe. Hot Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. So we'll go over there in a minute. He'll, he'll but like this, these two poor babies, we need them to go together if anybody's interested. But look at how sweet. Like usually they're freaked out and look at everything that they've been through. I think that they just feel like they died and went to heaven because they're in the condo right now. Right. But we had to move out bunnies that were in here and now those bunnies are in a little small chicken pen. Just don't bang the camera. Oh wait, that one's a little scarier. She's easy a little scare. Scarier. Is that a set up my balance? Matt, anything will shut off your balance. Stop it. Sorry. Once you get this one, you can see, except for you got chips all over you. Look at how cute. He's a cutie. Hi, baby. We're going to take care of you. You ought to be happy. Look at how he's shaking, though. Yeah, you ought to be like, happy you're away from your sure. old owner because they are not. They didn't take care of you and they just dumped you like trash. On not okay. Road, yep. Yeah, so these are the rabbits that were dumped this morning, but Matt and Dean actually caught them in the act, caught the guy in the act. So Matt got the license plate number. I love one of when we can catch people and we do have a camera out front so it showed the whole thing so called the everything. police police came they knew exactly who he was because they ran the license plate tag the guy knew that we were calling the police because matt and dean said that we were going to call him so he did call me back and i said you can't just dump them you have to fill out a surrender form let us know anything that you can about the animals he said on the video i don't want them anymore okay you don't want something anymore you speak to somebody. You don't dump them outside of a rescue with no food, no water. I think his nose is really nervous. <laughs> He's nervous, yeah. yeah. Poor baby. Really so nice. he has until 4.30 to come here. Oops. 4.30 Four to come here. To No, yeah. Four, he said he's going to be here at 3.30, so we'll see. Yeah. And we're open till 4 to come and fill out his paperwork and talk to me face to face. We obviously are not giving them back. Lori, I would probably, if I was him, run to Florida. <laughs> I would go to I would, the country. I would just like say, here's your, here's, you know, here's a little donation and 
Here's all my information. I, I told totally wouldn't to... want to face you after that. So I, you know what? I will. I'm always very forgiving of people, but when they are mean to animals, it's very, very hard for me. And I get it. If you're in a tough situation, he didn't say he was in a tough situation. He said, he I don't want them anymore. Yeah. Drove a nice car. I'm not saying that you can go by that, but if you're in a desperate situation, talk to us. Let's see what we can do to yeah, help. If, if we definitely... can't help, then we'll try and get you help or ask exactly. around or post it. So we don't, you know, the dogs that are be. Oh, we have another story too about Gloria the dogs. Gloria Jean, how was the blue jay that was here the other day? <sighs> the blue jay passed away. Oh, he did. Sorry. He must have been old. So now, um, Dean told me that they said that there's something going around with the blue jays that they're just dying. They it didn't look like any injuries. I thought that somebody uh. catch them. That he was, he didn't look like a baby. He wasn't a fledgling, and um, he died actually the next day. So he made it. Uh, not quite 24 hours but so we can see that we don't have names for them yet but look at how cute if they're boys matt and dean <laughs> since you guys are the ones who caught well, the guy they look manly enough to be called matt but okay the little white one could be you stop it <laughs> it's not okay. funny Lori. <laughs> and then look at scooby how good <laughs> scooby's a good boy scooby knows he says they were in the bathroom i know them. all right That's let's go see I'm... joe Petruzzi. so wait yes go see joe Petruzzi. Um, but I also, I, while we're walking over there, um, somebody came to me right, oh, look at these beautiful, show the swan, Matt. I'm trying to, though. You need some help with that? Look at this one, he kind of goes. That's Romeo and Juliet. Yes, they are. That was Romeo story. and Juliet. They were actually not together, and they usually, um, swans usually don't mix well later. They're usually mate for life, and they fell in love here and have been together ever since. And then we have the bourbon turkeys, along with more swans out there, but they did come. Actually, that's not true. They all came separate, but they get along. Everybody gets along at the Funny Farm. We require that. Gloria Say Jean, I'll be there to volunteer next Sunday. Yay, Lori Jean? Gloria Jean. Gloria Jean. It's funny because my name is Laura Jean. My real name, Laura. But Debbie, Jennifer, like Matt, and Dean are great names. That's so funny. Well, of course they're great names. The fluffy, Matt cute Matt little bunnies are named Matt. Little Matt Dean. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> That's appropriate. You should say you're sorry. Somebody though. dropped the glass under here. Oh, I'm going to grab that. Well, yeah. You can't have that. It's a plastic one, but we don't keep Lord, trash. We haven't seen you go into the igloos for eggs lately. <laughs> I just went under Matt and got that. Stop saying, oh, look it. Somebody's sneaking in this pen and laying some eggs. Perfect. <laughs> Most of our chickens do not lay eggs. It's their girls. It's Debbie says Maddie or Dana. Dina. Okay. Dina. <laughs> so, Dina. so most of our chickens don't lay eggs because they are rescues and a lot of them are past that time. They only lay eggs for a little while. Oh, Gloria Jean said you recognize, still recognize it because we met her husband. And remember, we said that we recognize Matt by his voice. Oh, I remember them. I do. Yeah, it's a pretty I good. said that annoying voice. I would remember it's that all the time. <laughs> Stop looking at that. Hey, Joe. We have to show the progress of your cart that you... It's getting there. Look wow. at how nice. So he just put T111. Come in. Come in, Joe. Show us that. Somebody said, who, hot Joe? <laughs> they did say that. It is a little warm today, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Joe was off last week from work. And in his time off, you know he's a good guy. When he, his time off, he doesn't go to the beach or go out partying. He comes to the funny farm and donated his time, which is, you know, I'm so grateful. He's a friend from high school and we've kept in touch for 30 years, more than 30 years. Long but, uh, yeah, yep. long and time. now he's out helping you build stuff. And I didn't even know he had these skills because he's a pretty boy, let's face it. <laughs> so I thought he could play the trumpet. He's very, he was our, our drum major in- A man of many times. Man of many, he's, yeah. he's a- I'm full of Wait, what do, what do they call that? A geo, wait, when you're- a men of today. Anyway, we have a wait, 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 wait. Uh, Joe, did yes. you bring your trumpet? A metro, metro man, that's what, wait, Metro, metro Man? Metro, I forget what I, they I call it. They want to know if he brought his trumpet today. I did not. Oh. They would like to I hear do it. have the harmonica in the car. Oh, you though, do, but so. you know what? Next next weekend, come and bring they, your they trumpet. They want her, them to play. <laughs> Can you do, um, yeah. the cat, like when they wake up? Oh, Re oh yeah, I Rev do that all the time. Boy, sure, yeah. So we're going to have, next weekend, tune in. Joe is going, and I'm going to twirl my rifle. Oh, you should, you should have it. That's I have great. my rifle. So okay. I was the color guard captain, and Joe was the drum, drum major. major. Right. I knew I, that name, conductor, that was the conductor, yeah. whatever. So, and we, you know, we would do the marching thing, and then. It was a long time.
was long time ago. So that's how we were friends. We went when we went up metrosexual. 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 Thank you. Oh, you I said go. Metro that's Man. Metrosexual. Yes. yes, I was a drum major, and she was my color guard captain. Yes. So, yes. Wow. I, right. He was my drum major. <laughs> Gina's husband is a drummer. <laughs> oh, what did I say? She was mine <laughs> she was anyway. Mine. All right. A anyway, renaissance got me all messed man. up. So we have a vegetable card. Renaissance here. man. That's another one. Thank you. So back to this. So Joe is building a vegetable cart. We are going to use it for the October 10th Fall Festival here at the Funny Farm. Right. And we're going to sell different items because our store is, I think, going to... What, Matt? Nancy we're... says Joe is the full package. <laughs> is that Nancy Martinson? Nancy Fleisch. Whoa, oh, a new yeah, one. Oh, yeah. We thought it was our friend from high school who would always Janet say Janet wants that. to bring some batons. Oh, I could do a little bit of baton work. Oh, we okay. Have a little March next All right, we're gonna have a little marching band for the animals. We'll do a we'll do a funny farm our own parade. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna yeah. have to get some of the other um, band members to Joe's come join name, us. New name is Metro Man. Metro, Metro Man. Man. Okay. Joe Petruzzi. I'll, I'll put an M on my chest. Okay. There you go. <laughs> and a cape. So so show them. This is really cool, Joe. Wait. Wait. Can so, we? All right. It's a mess right now because it's a it's a work in progress. Work in progress. But That's we, what we, we like had, to say. We had an original cart. Okay. Yep. So, okay. Lori got that. I yeah. painted the underside. All Yay! The look at oh, that. Wow. So I cool. painted all that. That'll look nice. And then I'm going to trim it all out. But we had the old part. We had to put a new floor on it because the original floor was a little rotted. Oh, so we just cool. put some new T111 down. I'm building three separate sets of Can risers you? for shelves. Yeah, you stay back. Because Lori wants to ha sell things. So we have three separate uh, levels here for and three separate sections to sell it. I put some sides on it. I put a roof on it. I started painting the undercarriage. I'm going to start painting the outside today and, the, and a little bit on the inside here. And in a couple of weeks, when you see it again, it'll be totally different. Yep. So, and then these risers come out. They, yeah, can, they can be removed. In case so, we want to use the space say we want to else. use something, we have big things or something right. that we want to sell. Right. So, again, these, uh, Looks great. anything that we sell will go to 100% to the and animals. That will be for storage. And then I'm just putting a floor in on the back right now. So we really appreciate it. So George Dubois, the one whose birthday's today, started this and had some health issues and Joe jumped in to help out. And wait, he's got new boots. Oh, you noticed. Oh, he's got man. new boots. I thought you were going to wear your hat. <laughs> oh, today? No, okay. Oh, I was waiting for the he's festival. He's going to wait to the yes. for the festival. So now, now Lori and I are sporting boots. So he has his uh, new boots out. today. Yes. Because yes. he had, you know, bef <laughs> wait, before this, he was wearing his loafers. <laughs> no. I had all hot top sneakers from like <laughs> Our Metro ago. Man was in here like <laughs> in his skinny jeans he and his loafers. Says, wear old shoes. So that's exactly what I did. I always <laughs> say when the man, come here, hand. Mean high heels. That the manicures are better than mine. Then we know there's an issue. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> We're trying to get some horse manure underneath them. She's got like poop under her nails. <laughs> all right, buddy. I got paint all over them. So all right, that's that's a start. Really so thank you. All right. You can't go Hello. To the how are anymore. you? I got these from my puppies a long time ago from Amazon. Okay. I can't. I, they never be able to put them. So okay, great. Yeah, we will make use of them. It's, absolutely. It's brand new. It's okay. Like, so Thank you. I, was, I thought about you, so I was cleaning out my closets. It's all wrapped up. Very I nice. Said, I said, you know what? Maybe they could use. Nice it. Thank job, you Joe. So much. Lots I appreciate Joe it. They were like seven weeks, eight weeks old. And I said, yep. Like, if not, we always we know people and other rescues, so that's really sweet. Thank you, honey. No uh, okay. Are we doing um, hay rides anymore? We're supposed From to be. Soon. We're supposed to be doing hay rides now, but we We've have been, been so, busy. so busy with animals being dumped and just yeah, taking exactly. care of them. Oh, look at our pigeon. Remember you guys saw the pigeon and the golden pheasant? Matt, can Lord, you come in? You're, you're, you're just a pigeon show. He's doing it right now. I know. He is. You're fine, honey. He was just flying all around. He's like, wow, there's some kids. I'm going to show off. So he was a racing pigeon that, wait, they named him Walter. I always want to say the guy's name is Walt. Now I forget his first name. They want to buy a Elaine. Shirt. Elaine, the other pigeon, did pass away. Oh, yeah. But, um, so we thought we were excited that he had his mate. Um, you can see the two um, quail in here. I don't know. Is it hard to see through there, Matt? No, I can see. So there's two quail in here. A golden pheasant. Oh, look, there's a quail egg. Let's go in, Matt. No, this is where I hurt my ankle. Oh, Matt, no. Watch your little ankle. Otherwise, Matt has to go to the emergency room. <laughs> All right, come in. All right, you go yeah. first. Don't get away from the door so I don't hurt you, Matt. Well, you slammed it on my leg last oh time. Oh, my Lord. It's like... Okay. See the baby quail? Get down to see the golden pheasant, Matt. Do you see him? Yeah, I see him. 
So he is not indigenous to the area, but somebody found him walking around in his backyard. So he came here and he's, we had the Eagle Scout build, an, an Eagle Scout and his friends and family built this enclosure for him. And here's the inside. Want to show the inside digs, Matt? Yep. Oh, and then I'm going to get, I'm, I'm going to get one of the quail eggs. So check this out, show that. So they have nesting boxes if they want to sit in there. They have the perches up top. They have a window. So for winter, it's really important. Um, we'll probably be putting a heating lamp in here, depending on how cold it gets, so they can get out of the elements. And then if they want to, they can just be under here. The quail usually stay along the ground. But look, there's, oh shoot, I just spilled the water. Clean up in aisle five, we need to do oh, that. No. Let's see, there's a quail egg. Oh, there's a couple up here, look at this. All right, guys, I'm not trying to get you. Check this out, Matt, I found a whole nest. Holy moly, I hit the jackpot. Look! Jeez. That's their secret hiding spot, Lori. I know, I just found their secret. Hey, dogs, no! Scooby! Scoob, no. Brooke, no. Sorry for yelling in your... Quail. Look. There's a lot of eggs. Did you ever see it? Now, here's a regular egg compared to a quail egg. Can mm. you see, Matt? Yeah. Isn't that pretty cool? And they always look like they got splotches of paint on them. So who's the best egg collector in the whole farm? I am. Scooby. Oh. <laughs> oh, I am, yes. I am me. a good egg collector because I know I can always find the hiding spot. Sometimes people are afraid Lord, to go you're in. You're not good at, I mean, you can tell that you can toot your own horn pretty good there. <laughs> I am. I am a good egg collector, Matt. I know you are, but. All right, I'm gonna put these big eggs in here. You, yeah, Scooby does find the eggs and all these little. He's so good at it and he brings them to you. Nooks and crannies, and uh, uh oh, I'm losing my balance. Here. All right, I'm coming out. All right, let's yeah. see. We have to get a new camera balance. Here. Uh oh, we're locked. That don't pull the rope too hard, you're gonna lock us in forever. <laughs> I'll, uh, maybe I can you can stay in there, Matt, and I can just lock you in forever. <laughs> Good morning. It's puppy and Eventually, they're naughty, so they're in on the live video, but we'll be letting them out we'll let them in a few person. minutes, right? Did you just yep. get here? Yeah. Okay, good. You'll see him running around in a second. All right, so we talked about the, the bunnies being dumped, and they're adorable. We talked, so they are up for adoption. We had the two sheep. We talked about them that were, they were escapees from a slaughter situation and starving. So they are now here, been vetted, are in the 30-day quarantine. We talked about the fall festival. October 10th, we are looking for baskets. Um, and if you can get them to us as soon as possible, if anybody's donating, we so appreciate it. Debbie Carr um, wants to see this for us. Let's go in. Okay. I guess the dogs are, these two are coming in. Let's go see Wine Canyon. Canyon! So his eye was poked out by a barbed wire at another farm. I know I show him quite often, but a lot. He's, a, he's a fan favorite. And Mac gets mad at me, but I scratch him inside. Because how are you scratching on that, right, if it's itchy inside? How does he scratch anything else? He doesn't have fingers. Well, it's an, in, it's an innie, not an outie. If like an ear is an outie, this is an innie. How do you, you know, I'm afraid for him to stick something in there and hurt himself. He's like, you came in without food. I know, I only have eggs. I don't think you want them. <gasps> <laughs> He does want eggs. You can't have a raw egg. He's like, I could have some scrambled eggs. And he needs to have his mane brushed because yeah, it's yeah. all knotted. Wait a minute. What's Brookie doing back there? Uh, stop, Matt. What? Let's show Billy. <laughs> Billy's all okay, comfortable. Yeah. Look. You're a good boy. Say hi to Debbie Cars. That's your girlfriend. Okay, here's Billy and Lily. You can see he's resting comfortably. So Billy was raised in the house like me. Huh? Yes, he was. And he was such a cutie pie. So he's sweet. But he's naughty with the other goats. And here comes Lily, Billy well, Lily. because he was in his terrible too. Yeah. But he can come out now. Um, so we had two. They both had a Hi, platform to get up on. And now Lily's Hi, kind of baby. disintegrated. And the volunteers were worried about her jumping up and then the whole thing falling. Look at his So smiley. we took hers away. So we need somebody to build something like this. Actually, the Girl Scouts built that for we me. We need a goat playground. We actually we need a nice goat playground. We would prefer like real construction for that, so it doesn't fall down. <laughs> yes, 
just so you give wow. me a few minutes, okay? Like yeah, it's eleven sixteen. We're at we're at, we're past, man. Like All right, you're welcome. So everybody's late. asking to let the dogs out. A lot so of people are late for let's... church and work. Man, <laughs> so let's do that. Where's Denny Cavella? Do we know where Denny is? He's he's probably over around. Here. Denny is the one who, um, him and his wife Chris come all the time, They're and he the is our teacher. He he is yes, he's the teacher. I don't know where he is, but he is my OCD guy, which I absolutely love. I need him and Chris to move in with me because they clean everything. She was cleaning yeah. pools today. Um, okay. Denny redid my. I like uh, oh, I loved your shirt. <laughs> oh, here's Denny. Yep. Oh, there he is. He's coming this, this way. Let's just video. Let's just video. Let's just video. So here he comes. Look. Yep. Let's see if he's he, going past. Look, he's he very. Know we're on there. Free lunch. Free lunch. <laughs> if you like cat food. So we were just talking about you. I said yeah. I, need, I need you and Chris to move in with me because you guys are so OCD. He power washes oh, everything. The whole power washes the barn. New. Everything's looking great because our fall festival is coming up October 10th. So Denny. Dual purpose. And job. yep. And Denny and Chris have been helping beautifying things, cleaning things up because we get caught up in the day to day and just making sure everybody's fed and watered. That's a full time job. And then Denny's like, this is a mess. I need to fix this. He's <laughs> helping us with recycles and picking up trash and everything. So we have all sorts of jobs. If you, even if and you're not an things animal, things builds things, fix things. He built all the gorilla carts and, uh, right. goat, and, goat and he, yeah. the goat carts, he calls them. <laughs> And he's always giving me gifts, but my lemon cookies, my like shirts. 12 hours a day. He, co he no works break. like 13 hours sometimes. Yeah, 13 yeah. and a half is my record. 13 and a half is his record. If you wow. must know. So yeah. I'm like, who the heck is up er as early as I am, Denny? I'm up uh, at yeah. I get up at 2, 2.30. Two, all right, four. I don't even get up. Yeah. He gets up earlier than me, and all of a sudden I hear my game. on when I come. That's because and, I'm and trying to keep the bird quiet, Denny. Yeah, and I beat <laughs> Until the, uh, the roosters. The roosters, yeah. I beat the, yeah, the I, roosters. I beat the roosters up, so yeah. that's, yeah. But, she yes. said that she could watch you guys all day. So thank you so much. But we just want to say thank you because you are wonderful. You're, 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 you're such, <laughs> such a wonderful yeah, you're volunteer, and we're happy for any volunteers to come. Thanks, Den. Kim um, wants to know what we can bring today. Have a good one. Meal, okay. Mealworms? Mealworms. We need wet cat food. Is yeah, one yeah, of yeah, any brand, food. any kind of wet and cat food. Wet and kitten food. Um, kitten food. We're probably okay on. Hopefully, these kittens are going to be the last. I don't know. Oh, you know what I'm looking for? It's called Mother and Baby by. Um, cat food. Yes, but it's by. Um, the one that does all the. I just lost my train. It's called Over Fifty. Thanks for coming. Thank Bye, guys. Royal Canaan, it just popped in my yep, brain. Royal Canaan. Royal Canaan, it's called Mother and Baby Cat. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, guys. Oh, you're waiting for the dogs. I know. We'll let them out right now. Okay, one second. Come on, we're going to go do that, Matt. Okay. As we're walking over, just stay here one second. I have a or something. All right, just make sure maybe the kids can get up to, they'll, the kid, you know, the dogs do jump a little, the one. I'll, I'll just wait right here, Lord. We're letting them out now, the dogs. Everybody's waiting. John! Dawn, let the dogs out! Like a hundred miles an hour. Let the dogs out! All right, here they come. They're gonna yeah, let the dogs out. The They're gonna run over here, so we'll just. Falls. Oh no! Look at that. Here, here they come. come. Oh, there they are. They're looking. I should have put my eggs eye. somewhere else. Right here, dogs! Where you are? <laughs> come here! A doggy parade! Yay! Come Yay, here, Tucker! Come you here, found here. Your mama. <laughs> Did you see that goose? <laughs> Uh, oh boy, everybody. everybody hey! <laughs> no! Get off the eggs! Get off the eggs! Oh my gosh. David, good girl. Good All right! Girl. Good girl. Stop. Good girl. No screaming. Hey! Hey, stop. Brookie, no. Stop. Brookie, come here. No. Come here, Sadie. Finally, enough. Come here, Sadie. <laughs> No screaming, no screaming. Enough. No barking. There's Caesar. Oh, I know, me too. Yes. You can, so, pick, you can pick up Caesar. I know, but let me put my eggs down. Oh, yeah. There's eggs in there. Okay, hey, so just do. Don't eat your eggs. sister. Sorry. <laughs> Caesar, come here. Caesar. Caesar. He wants to see him. He's running around. Where's Caesar, Lord? Right here. He's taking a pee-pee, Matt. 
Caesar, come here. Come here, big he boy. Is. He's oh. gonna bring Caesar over for you guys. There he is. Oh. Okay, he's here's Caesar. I'll sit right here with him for a second. You guys want to pet him? You want to pet Caesar? Oh. Hi, Caesar. Come here, Caesar. And you know he has one eye now. Yeah, yeah, see? see? Just one eye. Yeah. Yeah. He got an infection in his eye. Oh, you're a cutie pie. So this is why we don't let the dogs out all the time because we wouldn't be able to show anything. They're so... But you can see the visitors really know and miss them. Look, turn around. They're taking a bath. Uh-oh. There's one, two. So we just... Can I have you sit right here, honey. Hey, I sit up. Here. Jump up. Okay, hold him right there. There you go. Wait, him. Oh. Okay, after you jump up there and then I'll let you hold him. I pet, I pet the big one. You pet the big one? It didn't even bite me. They don't, he didn't even bite him. He pet the big one. Well, They're very good. friendly. That's always a good sign. It was crazy. It was like a doggy. It was. I see one on video. You saw me on a video? I hope that me and dog that beat me. Oh. <laughs> All right, Caesar, calm down. He's getting all wound up. All right, Caesar, being grumpy boy. All right, so I think because of the mass chaos, we will call it a day. It's almost 1130, Matt. All right, so all right. he gets kisses big time. All right, now here's puppy. So if you're looking for some dog loving, come on out. We have 10 here at the Funny Farm. They are all looking for, they never get attention, as you can see. You want to get down, Caesar? All right. He says, I have to pee, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tucker. And then Tucker, we have the two mega esophagus dogs. We have Jesse, who is seven months, and Tucker, who is a little older than three years old. Right, Tuck Tuck? They do have an invisible uh -oh. fence collar on now, which is great because they were running into the woods because some of the new ones didn't know. So they all have a little invisible fence collar so they can stay within the 15 acres of the funny farm. Teresa said the dogs are her favorite part of the show. Okay, it's just hard to talk, to concentrate, to tell you anything when the dogs are loose. So that's why we kind of wait until the end to let them out. <laughs> did you get a kiss? Right? She got, she did get a kiss. So we have Puppy, excuse you, kick show. Puppy, Gunner. Jesse, Tucker, Brooklyn, the Golden Retriever, Sadie, uh, Caesar. Um, who are we missing? We're missing Scoobies Buddy. behind you and Buddy. Oh, yeah. Sadie wants to Sadie, Buddy yeah. I think she just like play nips. Um, Not so much anymore. She's good. Yes, honey. Um, we both got our ears. Yes, we both do. Let me see. Oh my goodness, you have kitty cats. I love them. Yeah, and my Oh, and I love your. Um, unicorns, they're pretty. They're actually, um, um, there's actually rainbows and unicorns. Rainbows and unicorns, very Kimmy. cool. Kimmy wants to know if she can give us the donations directly. Yes, you can. All right, yeah. if they, can they give, I can't really hear you. Kimmy wants to know, Sadie, stop. Shh, shh, come here. She wants to know if she can give you donations directly. Yes, you can give donations directly. Is that you mean like come and bring them? Matt, can the kids and I give you and Lori the donations directly? We never met you. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. If anybody, listen, if you guys come on a Tuesday or Sunday, ask for one or both of us, whoever you want to meet or see, we will make the time. Sometimes if we're in the middle of a rescue or an animal emergency, we may not be able to, but otherwise, we're here. You know, we're, we're around. He's giving kisses. So just ask to see us. You can go to our store, Cindy in the store. Let's walk over to Cindy real quick and we'll end there. Okay. I'm actually a cowgirl because I live at the Funny Farm. Isn't that cool? And she has horses. I do this all day today and Tuesday. What'd you get, slimes? Sorry. Probably. We have a couple. Yes, isn't she cute? Excuse me, guys. No problem. So if you guys want to meet us or get Matt and I to sign your little books Lord, to Chucky Farley. Whose birthday is it today? Yesterday, Matt. So Matt doesn't, this is the Matt Miles. This is, I call him my adopted son, even though he look, he's old enough to be my son, believe it or not. <laughs> but I would say way too old. He's way too old? Way too old to be my son, but it's not true. <laughs> so happy birthday, honey.
<laughs> um, so this is the store where Miss Leslie, come here Leslie, she's hiding out. Leslie, she's a metro woman, <laughs> and Miss Cindy's also a metro woman. They um, are put in tireless, countless hours. I, I think Cindy is bionic. Um, I can't get her to stop. But if you want to come to the store, you can get food, um, our books. So Adele, the diva chicken, Farley, the funny farm dog, and Chucky, the miracle dog, they're all real stories about the animals. I know we've been talking about the online store. Guess what? We think it's going to happen by the end of this <coughs> month. So by the fall festival, our new <coughs> website is going to be up live. And the only thing that we're going to have in the store at first are books. We need to start figuring out. We're looking for maybe somebody to help run the store, meaning package things up and send them. So we need we more have, volunteers. We need new volunteers for that. I know there were some women that said they would help out that were retired. They didn't so really. This is Cindy working hard. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is a cute cat. That is a cute cat. That's Hobo, who's been here for quite a few years. And then we have, so this is another area where, and then Leslie does every anything. She worked, you work at Central Jersey Tractor, right? Yes, Central Jersey Equipment. Equipment in Hamilton, not just tractor. Where I actually bought my tractor and... I love it there. She's my, my kind of girl there. She can do anything. They have lots of parts and stuff. Yeah, they do. It's fun. It's a good store. All right. So we'll let them get in the line. Sorry, we didn't mean to hog up the time here. Lori, so it's let's walk. 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> do you want to end this? I told you. I had I had coffee. So I'm like, whoa, 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 I think you had apparently I, something. <laughs> this is why I don't do coffee anymore because there's no off switch. <laughs> Yeah, it's like... Seven. Alan, if you're still watching in Cal from California, I miss you. Come visit. He said, you come visit me. I need about 20 volunteers to come fill in for me when, I, for when I leave. And this is our dog girl. She loves all the dogs. What's yeah, your name? Lena. Lena. She's been here before. I recognize her. Right? <gasps> Do we know you from Facebook? Are you on our no, Facebook? I showed you this place. Oh my gosh, I Same feel like you've been it. here Same. before because I recognize you, but maybe. Well, I'm so happy. Where do you live, Lena? Maze Landing. Oh, Maze Landing, so she's close. Oh, cool. Oh my God, look at all Don't the look. <laughs> she, you can tell the animals know animal lovers. They like, so, they know so animal thank you, people. Lena, for coming. Thank you. <laughs> they see it. He's got his little ball. <laughs> There's always something to look at. There's so always something going on. So, so let's go show Kim Miles and Don. And all right, we'll and then we'll and then we'll go. Then we really do need to go because we have things to do. Kim's like, yes, you do. She has a whole list for me. Kim Miles. Oh, okay. You don't have your own money, Kim. Sadie, <laughs> Sadie. Hey, enough. We're not. It's the little dogs, Matt. It's not even Sadie. Oh, it's the little so this two. This is Kim. Who? She's the mother of Matt, right? Okay, and then. And, Miss Dawn back there hiding out so with her bad Kim's back. The mother of Matt, right? Yes, that's and my adopt and my adopted sister. Okay. <laughs> Aren't I also the mother of Annalise? Yeah. Oh, I'm mother of Annalise too. But we were you talking had about kid Matt. That we didn't know about. We were yes. talking about his birthday. Oh. But that's <laughs> why. So that's why we. <laughs> yeah. She already and then had Dawn's my other adopted sister. We Actually, all my volunteers here. Hi. So and then Dawn, thank you. Oh, Dawn's it's too like, late. You're all right. On. Oh. Dawn doesn't want to be on, but, but she's going to be on anyway. So, all right. So if you want to volunteer, we accept them any day between eight and four. We do say there are time slots, but there really aren't any time slots. We're just suggesting them so people don't get afraid and say, oh my God, I have to work all day. You don't. You can come and do an hour if you want. Lynn or wants to know, uh, she loves the cat that's sleeping on the counter. So cute. That's Hobo. Yeah. So that's the security system for the store. Yes. Yeah. That's our security system. <laughs> um, if you want to volunteer for the Fall Fest, send me a text or a, uh, an email will probably be best. And we're going to have maybe Lori, a virtual meeting. Yeah. Lori at funnyfarmrescue.org. Say I'm looking to volunteer for the Fall Festival. We need lots of volunteers. You can get community service hours for school. Um, it's going to be a great time anyway. Uh, we need car parkers. We need... Uh, People helping out with money for the uh, hay wagon and pumpkin painting. We also need just crowd control. We actually have hired the police, so they'll be doing the real crowd control outside. But we also need help running some tables. Tina, some what is the Fall Festival? The Fall Festival is one of our, it's our largest fundraiser for the Funny Farm. We do them every year, except last year, obviously. Because hey, stop. Stop come it. Here, Sadie. Come here, Sadie. We're not playing right now. Stop. Go away. Sadie, Sadie come here. Sadie, go. 
You're not allowed to play so rough. Sorry. So we have uh, vendors. We have food vendors, meatless food vendors, and regular vendors. We have hay rides, pumpkin, ri uh, pumpkin rides. <laughs> pumpkin rides. <laughs> We're going to ride pumpkins all day at the Funny pumpkin Farm. Pumpkin painting, face painting. Um, we're going to be selling some Funny Farm goods. And then, again, it's like shopping. Who doesn't like shopping? And Gina, do you need volunteers to help out the day before the festival? Oh, my gosh. We need volunteers from now until the festival to help. Yeah. do clean up to move things to get things prepared because we do have a lot of people that come um, there's usually a couple thousand people that show up and that's why we are parking people at the uh, prep st augustine prep about a mile away and then they're bussed in and the buses run we have three buses that run we all have to day show long. stinky because people are saying we haven't shown them in a while we haven't shown stinky because stinky got a cold and uh he's had a couple of um Convenia shots, which is a 12-day release shot for antibiotics. I see him right here. Yep, you can see him. He's. I can't believe he's awake. How about if I go there so the dog But he was, he was um, doing a little coughing, so he could not come out because we didn't want to oh, jeopardize. Oh, puppy, you scared him. Oh, puppy. You can see him, Matt. I can't see him anymore. Babies. Oh, stay out. Come here, honey. Get away. Matt, if you come right here, you can see him. Oh, he's coming up. No, he's not. Come here, babies. Don't bang into the camera, puppy. Come here, stink. Stinky. I see a little face. Stinky. Come Thanks here, stink. Kiss, Jesse. What have you been eating? It doesn't smell good. Uh, Come here, stink. Uh, Marianne said if she can't make it to the festival, can she send you a donation? Oh my gosh, we would love it if you would send a donation if you can't make it. That would be fabulous. Again, all the proceeds go to the care for the I animals, food, vet care, enclosures, fences. Whatever we need. Come here. Sadie. I can't see him. I can get him out if you want. No. There he is. Are you seeing him in the back? Yeah. Okay. So that's thank you, skunk. I don't want to bother too much about because if you just try it. So um, you can absolutely I, wait, wait, wait. What is that website? What, what, what's our email? Funny Farm Vendor. <laughs> Funny Farm Vendor. B e n d o r at gmail .com. Send an email. Tell them the name of your business, um, your name, your contact info. Obviously, we'll have your email then and say you know want to get an application we'll send you an application we'll only do one type of vendor so it's first come first serve we have quite a few but we're still looking for more um they do very well here are um, you auctioning off a date with joe petruzzi <laughs> is that really sad? yeah it does say this year we can arrange that the sound is going bad so we need to we need, we need to say goodbye i tried to say goodbye now you keep going no i don't yes you do what do you mean me i'm not the one talking <laughs> Yes, you are. You okay. just said that's auction off the day. Let's go over here. Right, let's go over here. We're, we're, near, the, we're near the outhouse. Let's move. Yeah, the outhouse. All right, we'll go ahead and say goodbye by uh, Lorenzo. All right. Um, so, again, funny. Oh, wait, it's. Wait, what are we Funny part. Funny part. E-N-D-O-R at gmail. And you send in what you sell. What your goods are, what's the name of your business, and your contact info, and we'll send you and say interested in a vendor form. We fill that out, you have to be accepted because we don't want to candy people there, it's not going to help you. We want you guys to be able to make money. We charge a fee for the vendor, so your fee will go to the help the animals. And we've been doing it for I think it's our sixth year now, and it's always good for the vendors as well. And it's rain or shine. No matter what, it's just like making a donation to us, but you get to have your table and keep all your proceeds. Uh, you don't have to give anything to us. Have an awesome day, Tina. And uh, I think that's good. Okay.
Okay, so again, Fall Festival, October 10th. It's a Sunday from 9 to 4. You don't have to sign a waiver that day. We actually have insurance for that. But if you're ever visiting again, it would be great for you to, to sign your waiver. Uh, we will have food and regular crafters, vendors. We will have pumpkin painting, hay rides, face painting. We'll have a Funny Farm card to buy exclusive Funny Farm items that we don't always sell. Um, so it's, it's a good day. And of course, animal feeding, because the animals, just like you see here, will be loose. And we, this is the most animals we've ever had at any, any um, festival. So we always need hands on deck for helping with the animals just to make sure they don't get hurt. There will be no parking that day on the property except the vendors and they have to get here very early. It's actually still dark when we're parking them. So thanks for watching. You guys are the best for letting me ramble on. And if you get tired of listening to Matt and I, you can just jump off. And no, they can't. No one's allowed to no, do that. No, they can't. So, we'll know um, who they are, it tells us. So we really appreciate all your support and thank you for all the donations and I finally have somebody that's going to be able to help me out because I have not been able to send all my thank you notes so I'm very delayed with that because we've been so busy with these animal rescues. We always concentrate on that first and then do our paperwork later. So thanks guys, love you, see you next Sunday.